ஓம் ராமகோல்மயோ நமாம் ரித்தன்வந்தராய் நமாம் ரித் சுதர்ஷனாய் நமா மோஹினி தேவை நமாம் ஓல் க்ளோரிஸ் டு துப்ரீம் டிவைன் ஹீலஸ் ஸ்ரீ ஸ்ரீ அம்ரிதா அண்ட் தன்வந்தரி டுடே ஐ வுட் லைக் டு ஸ்பீக் டு யூ அபவுட் சர்ட் ஐ ஓப்பனிங் மெடிடேஷன் விச் இஸ் இன் லைன் வித் த சோல்ஸ் ட்ரூ நேச்சர் I have been asked several times about such type of meditation and as I couldn't find anything on the web that is truly in alignment with the soul's loving nature I decided to make a presentation of my own the soul's true nature is to remember and love and serve God as it is the natural expression of love to serve to please the beloved now in the beginning there may be several obstacles to lovingly serve god one of them may express itself through a closed third eye which is closed for karmic reasons which then on top of it may also have resulted in a bodily manifestation like a calcification of the associated glands and for the process of decalcification i recommend watching the respective videos and related articles in this presentation however we want to deal with a meditation that will align our attitude with our soul nature and purpose and help us to open the third eye in a way that is conducive to our soul's development for this aim i suggest to combine a mantra meditation with a certain breathing pattern with the concentration on a light like a candle or the sun adding to that a short aphorism which is summarizing the object and attitude of our meditation for loving self alignment so let me quickly explain the background of that meditation in the ancient vedic revelation it is explained that the sun is considered or compared to be the eye of god for example krishna says in the bhagavad gita prabhasmi sashi surya yoho i am the light of the moon and the sun the moon being his left eye and the sun being his right eye and as in the macrocosm so in the microcosm the moon is predominating the left eye and the sun is predominating the right eye the harmonization of the sun and moon energies is also a central aspect of opening the third eye this again is associated with the ida and pingala nadis which meet in the third eye but that is not our subject in this presentation let us come back to our meditation phrase aphorism the sun like every other planet in our solar system has a king and that sun king is called surya or ravi but because the sun king surya is a great devotee of the lord the supreme lord narayan narayan also resides there in his expansion as surya narayan so the recommended aphorism for concentration during the meditation is as follows surya narayan service please show so with this aphorism we are asking the presiding deity of the sun namely the supreme lord as surya narayan to please open our third eye and show us which divine service he would like us to express in love there are countless of hundreds of thousands of mantras some of which are to half gods or demigods or devas and some of which are to the supreme lord and there are also many different variations among the mantras or names of the supreme lord but in order to not confuse the mind i would always recommend 
chanting just one mantra, the great mantra, also called Maha Mantra, that is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, and to take a second mantra or aphorism like ours, which is Surya Narayan service, please show, to concentrate during the meditation on the attitude and intention of the meditation. So now let us come to the practical application of the received information. To enhance the effects of the meditation, I can recommend chanting the mantra in a certain frequency which relates to the third eye. That would be a violet color frequency like 639 hertz or tone B. Then I would recommend becoming familiar with chanting the main mantra, the Maha Mantra, and to familiarize with the recommended breathing pattern as I will show here and now. I recommend chanting the mantra in a speed that facilitates that you can chant the mantra two times while breathing out, then while retaining the air out or exhaling the remaining air for half a mantra, and then inhaling while repeating in your mind the second half of the mantra. It goes like this. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So that was three breathing patterns of chanting the mantra two times, then remembering the mantra in the mind, half a mantra while continuing to breathe out and the second half of the mantra while breathing in and then starting again. Once you have familiarized yourself with that, you can add the concentration on a candle or the sun. And in case of the candle, you should offer the candle to Surya Narayan before starting the meditation. Then you keep your eyes closed during the chanting and only open your eyes to concentrate on the flame during the breathing in and then you close your eyes during the chanting and breathing out process to focus on the impression of light between your eyebrows that the candle or sunlight has left. Once you have familiarized yourself with this process you may add the concentration of our meditation aphorism to the meditation. That is, after the breathing in, when you have completed the remembrance of the second half of the Maha Mantra, before you start chanting, you remember one word of the aphorism that would be Surya. Then you chant two mantras, do the breathing out, breathing in, and then you remember the second word Narayan before you continue to chant again. Then after the next round of breathing you remember service and after the next round you remember please show and you continue this sequence of four words which comprise our aphorism for the time you are chanting. Then in a fourth phase of the meditation, once you have familiarized yourself with the first three steps, there is one more thing that you can add and that is called Mula Bandha. After breathing in, in the moment when you remember that one word of the aphorism, at that moment you can contract the perineum muscles and by this the Kundalini energy will be stimulated 
and send up through the central channel the Sushumna Nadi to the third eye or Ajna Chakra. The time for this meditation can be incrementally increased. You may want to start with 4 minutes and 5 seconds, then maybe 9 minutes and later on 18 minutes or longer. When you come to a point of satiation, exhaustion or the similar, or you feel you have reached enough practice for the time, then I recommend lying down to relax and absorb and feel the effects. For this you can remember the first half of the mantra while breathing out and remember in your mind the second half of the mantra while breathing in in a very relaxed manner. Or alternatively you can split the mantra into four parts meaning you breathe out Hare Krishna Hare Krishna in your mind thinking the mantra then while breathing in you remember the second quarter that would be Krishna Krishna Hare Hare and then you breathe out calmly Hare Rama Hare Rama and while you breathe in calmly you remember Rama Rama Hare Hare please let me know how this meditation works out for you your comments and questions are most welcome thank you very much for your attention May the Om Love be with you. Jai Shri Radhe Shyam.